Let's take a look at creating a frequency polygon. First thing we need to find is our midpoints. Now our midpoints is going to equal to the um, see the 20 here and the 30 here, the lower class limits. So if I had 20 plus 30 divided by 2, that'll give me my midpoint. So and uh, equals 20 plus 30 and then divide by 2. Now you could do that in your head or on calculator or like you see right here. If you do it in Excel, you have to put parentheses around 20 plus 30. That gives us 25. And our class width, see how it goes from 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 to 60? Class width is 10, which means this will be 35, 45, 55, and 65. And let me put my frequencies right next to it. 5, 12, 17, 3, 2. Okay, so we got this now. Now, um, the the way a frequency polygon works is it's supposed to start at a frequency of 0 and end at a frequency of 0. So if I um, click with my left mouse button and highlight these, I can right click on it and say insert. And shift cells down. And I'm going to put 0 here for my frequency. That's going to be my starting frequency. And I'm going to fudge the uh, midpoints. Uh, technically, that's not a data point, but we want to make it one. Now, if we look at our class width, it went from 45 to 35 to 25 to 15. Now, here at the end, we're also going to put another data point. And again, because we want it to start at frequency of 0 and end at frequency of 0. And see how this goes from 45 to 55 to 65? So 75. Okay, so once we got that, for a frequency um, polygon, if we, if I am, um, what I'm doing is I click on my left mouse button, holding down on my left mouse button, and moving my mouse and dragging it until it gets down to here. So you highlight those, then you choose insert, scatter, and scatter with straight lines and markers. And that'll give you your, your frequency um, uh, polygon. Now if I, um, let me delete that. If I click and highlight all of this and choose insert, scatter, and um, I got some other options there. That's interesting. And then the uh, same one. You'll see that it um, puts frequency across the top there. Um, so, just a different way you can do it. Notice the difference between that and here. See, it doesn't put that on there. So, But you can always add it yourself. Uh, to modify these, just go to Design and Layout, and, and you can modify it however you want. But anyway, that's a frequency um, polygon.